and then and ask to all people with uh, microphones open to close please your microphones and as Matteo has reminded also to your name to rename yourself with your name, last name, and organization. Thank you very much. I give the floor to Elena Conti, who uh, is the okay. proxy of uh, the responsible of the procedure of the uh, Clima Boracol for Tender, our director of Anci Toscana, Simone Gheri. So Elena, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon and welcome to this public session uh, realized by via Zoom. Uh, this is the inaugural meeting of the evaluation committee of the second phase of the Clima Boro Innovation Partnership, as you know. I'm Elena Conti uh, of Anci Toscana and uh, I replace Mr. Ugheri, the single responsible person, the group, uh, that two other commitments will not attend uh, to this session. Um, as you know, the main purpose of this meeting uh, uh, was the, to provide a complete and transparent account of the list of applications received by the 20 February uh, 2024 and uh, the deadline for the second phase of the innovation uh, partnership. Um, and uh, for this reason, uh, I prefer to leave the floor to the office staff uh, to explain the activities that uh, uh, were carried out uh, and to read the minutes of these activities to all uh, present person. Uh, I remain connected and give the floor to Besnik and Julia. Thank you for your participation. To you, uh, Nick or Julia, I don't know if... It, yeah, Julia, please, you can go ahead. Okay, start with the reading of the minutes. Uh, yeah. Beth, do you prefer if I share the screen with, with the minutes or? No, no, you can go ahead and I will okay. share the okay. screen with uh, the uh, list of the application received on good grants. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, thank you. Good morning, everyone. So I, I will proceed now with the with the reading of the of the minutes uh, of the meeting of uh, of today. Uh, so on 28 February 2024 at uh, 2 p.m. set uh, in a public session realized via Zoom at, uh, the, at this link uh, convened by Anti Director General's Decree Number 28 of 23 February 2024 and announced on the Climate Borrow Project website. The inaugural meeting of the evaluation committee of the second phase of the aforementioned innovation partnership was held, composed of the following members. Uh, Gary Simone, our director, but it's, it's, he's not here now. Uh, Arend Luc, City of Differdange. Um, Athanasio Anna, sorry if I do not pronounce correctly your name, City of Ioannina. Avra, Avramov Methody, City of Sofia. Bernardini Chiara, Herion, Vicent Mateca, City of Maribor, uh, Cristan Toni Ilia, Daem, Dinis Joao, Cascai Sambiente, Ferrero Marco, City of Turin, Gallé Mariam, Grenoble Arts Metropol, uh, Jurgek Deca, City of Maribor, Calogiro Cristina, City of Ioannina, Nepast Xenija, Ezavod, Pellor Selim, Grenoble Alps Metropole, Pino Sebastien, List, uh, Rodic Goran, Freda, Sarmas Elisaios, Daem, Simeone Luca, Alborg University, Vita Antonio, City of Turin. Uh, supported by me from Anci Toscana to act as a secretary, also authoring uh, these minutes. Other members of the Anci Toscana Climate Borrow Project team attending the meeting were Mr. Besnik Memeti, Mr. Francesco Molinari, and Mr. Matteo Sazza. Uh, as I said before, due to other commitments, Mr. Simone Gheri, acting as RUP for the aforementioned public procurement procedure, did not attend the meeting and was replaced by Mrs. Elena Conti, whom he appointed as delegate with full powers in the same decree. The Queen number uh, 28 of 23 February 2024, appointing the other members of the evaluation committee. This decree, this decree was also published on the Climate Borrow Project website. Um, are there any uh, external observers? Vesnik? Yeah, there are uh, external observers. And so we will integrate uh, the names yeah. and organization of. Uh, 
of exer of economic operators in the minutes of the um, that will then will be published uh, in the Klimaboro website. Okay, so, perfect. So I will have after the after the meeting. Uh, so on behalf of Mr. Gary, Mrs. Conti informed the participants that the main purpose of the meeting was to provide a complete and transparent account of the list of applications received by 20 February 2024 at 11.59 p.m., uh, the deadline for the second phase of the innovation partnership. Mrs. Conti then reminded the participants that according to the information contained in Annex 2 to the contract notice, Anci Toscana had selected the Good Grants platform as a repository to receive the technical offers foreseen in the second phase of the innovation partnership competition and that only 40, uh, 46 economic operators listed in the Director General's Decree number 524-I of uh, 17 January 2024 and an additional one, uh, Beta Green Solve for the City of, Gren of Grenoble, uh, erroneously removed from the list due to a clerical mistake uh, then corrected in the subsequent decree of the uh, Director General number 1924 I of uh, 15 February 2024, resulting in a total of 47 economic operators, as listed below, were invited to submit an offer after the positive evaluation of their legal and financial profiles carried out during the first phase according to the rules of the tender. After the deadline of 20 February 2024 at 11.59 p.m., the platform was automatically locked and on 21st February 2024, under the supervision of Mr. Gary uh, the Roop, the list of applications received was downloaded from the, from, from the platform. This list is reprodu reproduced in the following table. So I kindly ask Bednik if he can share the screen. Yeah, just a so second. Everybody can have a look. Yes. So as you can uh, see, uh, this is uh, the uh, Good Grants uh, platform and all the received uh, applications uh, are here. So you can see uh, the different applications received on due time by uh, 20 uh, February 2024 uh, by uh, 2359, uh, the, the time of the, of the uh, deadline of the uh, second uh, phase. So these applications uh, have been received correctly. Uh, there are uh, 38 of them received correctly, as I'm showing you in this, um, I mean, scrolling the platform, down the platform. And then we can also, Julia, after, immediately after, show the Excel, uh, the sorry, the table uh, with the uh, list of applications by uh, each uh, city. And then, of course, we have some applications, and Julia will uh, uh, mention them uh, a few minutes. I mean, in few minutes, uh, that have not been uh, submitted. As you can see, there are different applications that are in progress, or they have been invited and not uh, submitted correctly uh, their their technical uh, offers. Mm -hmm. So this is the uh, the list. So Julia, I would ask you kindly to share uh, the list in the, table, in the minutes. Are you able to see the screen? Yeah. Okay, perfect. This is the, this is the okay. table. So as you can see, those are in, in the last, column you can see are received on the platform. So those are the application correctly received. But as you can notice, uh, some application are not received. So from Cascais Lot, uh, this one, Business Integration Partners SPA, J Gomez uh, LDA Clamaboro, not received. Then for Differdange Lot, not received business integration partners SPA and smart energy lab different uh, for Grenoble lot uh, two application were not received smart energy lab Grenoble and uh, Terranis South Green City uh, 
for Maribor, uh, not received business integration partner SPA and Nini Data Drive and Solutions. And finally, for uh, Sofia Lot, uh, uh, there is Smart Energy Lab Sofia not received. Can I stop the 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 sharing? Yeah, yeah, stop the sharing and go ahead with the uh, uh, reading of the minutes. Thank you, Julia. Okay, thank you. Um, so for the um, for the nine application meeting on the on the platform, uh, this means that the economic operators uh, decided not to submit uh, their technical offers. This implies that, uh, according to the standard regulations uh, specified both in the contract notice and in Annex 1 of the same, these economic operators must be excluded uh, from the following steps uh, of the innovation partnership procedures. Um, 36 applications, uh, the applications received uh, on, the, on the platform are shown on the Good Grants platform in the submit status. Therefore, they will be retained for the following steps uh, of the procedure. Um, at the end of today's public session, the second group of applications will be examined by the members of the evaluation committee, first and foremost to access their compliance, the minimum requirements stated in Annex 2 of the tender regulation, which are a condition for eligibility. Then the evaluation committee will undertake bilateral calls, negotiation meeting, by video conference with all individual applicants uh, to discuss whether the current contents of the technical offers can be further improved or modified uh, to better meet the above requirements. The results of this activity will then be a list of economic operators uh, drawn by lot uh, who will be invited to resubmit the technical offers accompanied by a, fin a financial offer. The list will be obviously made public on the official Climate Borrow website presumably in the third week of March. I don't know, Bednik, if uh, are there any questions? Yeah. I don't know if it's better yeah. now or at the end of the reading, uh, as you prefer. Let's open the floor now for any question yeah. from uh, the uh, present audience. Perhaps you can first raise your hand in case you have any question. It seems there are no questions, Julia, so you can go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, so the meeting ended uh, at uh, <laughs> 2 uh, 17. The evaluation committee continued to meet for some more time in private session to review uh, the, the applications received. These minutes were drafted by the secretary, me, and read aloud to all members of the evaluation committee who communicated their acceptance verbally. The minutes will immediately be published on the Climate Borrow Project website. And uh, this is the end of the of the minutes. Uh, I have also, uh, I, I don't know if we, we need the signature of the evaluation uh, member. Yeah, we can, we can take oh. the signatures. In okay. Your, uh, yeah. oh, so my, my, my role is finished, I okay. think. Any other question? No. So I see a couple of other people that have joined in the meantime, uh, the meeting. So we still have some room for uh, any question you may have. Uh, first of all, let me say that we are uh, already sending out the invitations for the bilateral negotiations. Many of you uh, have received these invitations and others uh, will follow uh, later on today. Uh, so. Uh, please uh, uh, look carefully at your at your email accounts because uh, you should receive. I mean, with the same email accounts registered in um, the Good Guns platform, you should receive the uh, invitations with the time, hour, and uh, Zoom or or, or Teams link uh, to um, uh, yeah to have these uh, bilateral meetings together with the uh, evaluators and the cities. I see Anastasios yes. Athanasopoulos with a raised hand. Please. Yes, good course. evening. Uh, good just evening. a small question. Uh, the list that you have shown us uh, with the participants that have submitted uh, successfully, uh, we will we get this list? Is it possible to have it? Uh, yes. Uh, this list will be uh, published 
in the um, uh, in the uh, website of uh, Team Abora project uh, after this meeting. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. Is there any other question from the audience? Everything is clear, hopefully. Uh, so can can I jump in? Uh, yes. I just can find the uh, there is uh, and button. Um, I'm Haris Moshiaz from Future Intelligence. Uh, the question is uh, is this: Do all the um, partners that um, submitted uh, a technical offer? Uh, will all of them be invited to to negotiate the technical uh, 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 offer? Yeah, thank you for this question. Um, first, uh, the invitations will be sent uh, to uh, the email account that uh, is registered in the uh, grand, Good Grants platform. We don't have, normally the, in this phase at least, the uh, email accounts of the other uh, members of your of the groupings uh, because there are you know, different applications that are have been uh, submitted in groupings of, of economic operators. So it's up to you, of course, to invite them so to share with them the time slot and and link, and uh, yeah, of course you can you can invite members of your grouping. Okay, the question was, uh, for example, you have received six uh, application six proposals for uh, for a specific lot. Uh, in this phase, all of them will be invited for uh, the uh, the technical negotiation process, or already an evaluation has taken place. Is this clear? Yeah, it is clear. I'd leave the floor uh, to Francesco uh, for this uh, for this question. Sorry, I was uh, I was chatting with uh, uh, someone else. Uh, can you repeat the question, please? Yeah, let's let's uh, let's say an example uh, uh, in in a lot in a in a specific lot. Six proposals were uh, successfully received. So all of them will be invited to the technical negotiation phase or an evaluation, a technical evaluation process has already uh, been done. So uh, from six, four, for example, will be invited. Yeah, yeah it, it is uh, a bit reversed, the process, um, in the sense that uh, uh, what the uh, tender regulations specified is that uh, we will have uh, to negotiate the proposals uh, only those uh, who, which have uh, demonstrated uh, uh, meeting the minimum requirements specified in uh, attachment to, to the call for tender. You remember where there was uh, the description of the eight lots. For each lot, for each city, there was a table with uh, 15... Uh, um what we named requirements uh, which uh, mirror or are mirrored in the structure of the proposal so basically the proposal this time is a collection of descriptions that specify whether and to which extent the minimum requirements have been met only in the case some of these requirements uh, have not been met despite our recommendations for example a requirement was we want at least 30 people to be part of the test bed and you for any reason have written that only 25 not 30 people uh, will be part of the test bed in that case we uh, will declare that the minimum requirement hasn't been met nevertheless also for a matter of simplification we have invited you all uh, to a negotiation meeting. So in case we spotted that uh, this requirement hasn't been met, you will uh, uh, at least have the possibility of justifying the reason why. But uh, it's uh, the only case. So generally speaking, there will be 38 uh, negotiation meetings uh, in the coming days involving all the participants uh, who have uh, uploaded successfully to the platform. It may happen, I don't think it will happen, but honestly, but it may happen that some of you 
for any reason, have uh, decided not to meet the minimum requirements, in which case the negotiation meeting will last for a few minutes. Uh, otherwise, the negotiation meeting will totally be devoted to discussing the requirements one by one and uh, especially uh, suggesting from our side uh, how uh, you might uh, improve the degree of achievement of those requirements, maybe sacrificing some parts of the proposal where we are not that interested in having uh, that specific part. So it can be an improvement in some parts of your proposal and it can also be a reduction in the number of uh, deliveries or performance in general. Um, that's what uh, will happen. So to answer to your question, there will be one negotiation meeting per, per uh, invited uh, uh, participant. And uh, considering I was chatting in private with uh, a colleague uh, of yours from another um, economic operator, I would like to ask Pavel uh, Cholakov to voice uh, his question because he seems not to have received our invitations uh, uh, from the uh, official address of Climaboro. Uh, Pavel, can you take the floor, please? Uh, hello, actually, Pavel just uh, left for a few seconds, but we are a team of people that are listening to the session. Uh, okay. So uh, since we have uh, applied for uh, more than one lot, we received uh, an invitation for one of the lots, but we still haven't received such invitation for the, set to, for the other one. So um, we checked the spam folder and uh, actually the, the contact email is uh, one and the same for both applications. So it's funny that we received only for, for one. Uh, if I can, if, if I can, Francesco, as I said before, uh, we are uh, in the process of sending okay. the invitations. So we haven't we sent get. the totality of invitations. We have sent those uh, that are immediately on uh, third on uh, friday monday but uh, yeah. others other invitation will follow later today yeah this is what we get we assumed <laughs> that uh, it, it's still in the process of uh, sending exactly. so it's all fine thanks a lot okay uh, i don't know if anastasis has again the, uh, the hand raised from the uh, former question or there is another question you'd like to do Yes, there is another question. Uh, in the presentation, in the meeting that will follow, we have got the invitation and we expect uh, to have a 10 minute presentation of the proposal. The presentation, is there a certain template that you want to have or can it be PowerPoint or whatever? Yeah, it's up to you. I mean, to um, I mean to 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 propose your your uh, template, your presentation. It's not we are not requesting uh, any template for that. Okay, thank you. And then I'd leave the floor to Desiree Topfer from Define. Yes, thank you very much. Good, morning. Um, Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. Um, so thanks so far. Um, my question is. During the negotiation, we will present our proposal and we will go one by one through the requirements and you will propose amendments um, that might benefit our proposal. In the next step, phase three, we will submit a revised technical offer. Is there any kind of selection between the negotiation and the phase three revised technical offer submission? So the next step will be the negotiation of the technical offer, which will be followed by uh, the uh, submission of the revised technical offer and the uh, economic offer. Uh, so you, uh, af after the end of the negotiation process, you'll be given, uh, let's say, other time, a month. We have, we have uh, if I'm not wrong, it will be a month. Uh, to um, to send us again the technical offer, which will be this time accompanied by an economic offer. 
And then on this basis, we will select the two uh, economic operators, the two proposals for each lot that will uh, be awarded. Great. Thank you very much for clarifying that. Thank you. Any other question before uh, closing the meeting and let's say then passing to the private session with the members of the evaluation committee. Sorry, maybe just to repeat uh, something. So it means that during the interview we will uh have with the city so we present during 10 minutes our offer in a scientific way um no expectation as how we we need to present that no there are no expectation i mean there are no uh, let's say recommendation on how to present that but as francesco mentioned before uh you may be requested to uh, let's say improve some of the uh requirements of your of your uh, proposal uh, and and maybe uh, discard or change other requirements. So it's uh, provided that, of course, the set of minimum requirements uh, is met. Eh? Uh, so uh, these negotiations are totally open between you and uh, the uh, cities. Uh, then, uh, I mean, you will have to propose uh, your 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 revised technical offer after after the negotiation. And of course, the negotiation meetings will be uh, recorded. This is just uh, to avoid uh, any, let's say, issue in case of uh, any litigation that may arise. It's not to disclose any information, any technical or or information or, or secret. I mean, uh, you may have, but uh, just to uh, be on the safe side in case of a litigation. Thank you. Please, Dora Calipolitu. If I yes, well. hi. Uh, just a question from my side. Um, we are uh, applying for uh, the lot of Cascais. And uh, I think I saw at the beginning that uh, we are together with, uh, in total, we are three uh, candidates. Is there a chance in the negotiations that we can uh, get information uh, whether we can complement solutions with each other or this is not allowed? Because if I'm not mistaken, the two are uh, are gonna be granted the the opportunity, right? So, is there any chance for collaboration between the candidate proposals, or this is uh, out of question? Also, here I give the floor to Francesco. No, the answer is no. Okay, straightforward. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Sorry, may I ask uh, something? Please. Uh, when you uh, for for tomorrow's uh, negotiation sessions, uh, when you say presentation, do you expect uh, to have a PowerPoint or something, or just to verbalize and uh, see each other on with cameras, of course, to elaborate more on the proposal that is already submitted, or it should be done in a PowerPoint version, for instance, or whatever. Or it's it will up be to you. Discussion. It's up to you to propose your presentation using a PowerPoint or any other, uh, let's say, tool. Uh, so up to you completely uh, to use the most catching okay. tool uh, you okay. you think it's uh, yeah the most appropriate. Okay. Thanks. Uh, it seems there are no more questions. Uh, anyway, in any case, you have the uh, email of clima b uh, at climaboro.eu, so you can use uh, that email for any question you may have. We are, we will do our best to reply in the shortest uh, time possible to your questions. Uh, so I would uh, then declare this public uh, session uh, closed and. Uh, ask to the evaluators to remain uh, connected for the private session. Thanks a lot.
Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.